Boston. I'm 18 years old. I'm a freshman at Johnson C. Smith University in North Carolina. Oh, um, the last semester I got a 4.0 GPA with all A's. Today we're going to be celebrating um, the last day of Kwanzaa, which is Imani. Imani means faith. We strive to believe with all our hearts in our Creator, our people, our family, our teachers, and ourselves the struggle and righteousness and victory of our people. An example of that would be myself. Um, I go to an HBCU, and without the rest of the past of our ancestors, we would not have an HBCU. And I'm striving to believe that I can be conquer with doing that. I'm Brother KK. I'm here with my brothers, the brothers of Patterson, New Jersey. We all here. We always support Kwanzaa and the seven principles, the Nakuza Saba. And I'm happy to be here among my brothers. They're going to say some words to you. All right. What's up, people? What's up, everybody? I'm KC Melvin. I am the member, a uh, member of the Brothers Organization, and we're just proud, proud and elated to be here at this fantastic event with so many beautiful black people in their African garments representing our culture, the Nguza Saba, and the Seven Principles. And on this finale, the Karamo, on the day of Imani, Imani, we're all coming together as one collective body, beautiful, wonderful black people. We want you guys to support every event, every year, right after Christmas to the first, and I'm just happy to be here with my wonderful, strong brothers, all right? Peace. Peace, everybody. Um, Brother Chris Koch from the Brothers Organization. I just want to wish everybody a happy Kwanzaa, um, recognizing the importance of cultural events like this. Um, I feel very privileged to be a part of this and be up here with these fine brothers. So to everybody out there, continue to support these type of events, and we look forward to seeing you in the future. Peace. My name is Quan, representing the Brothers of Patterson organization, where our mission is to create an environment that influences, enables, and empowers the Mennonite community towards the activity to succeed in life through social, financial, and educational awareness. Peace. We meet every Sunday, Masonic Temple, 12 p.m. See you there. Peace. My name is Natural Born. Today is Imani. And I just say happy Kwanzaa to the everybody out there. Peace. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Kwanzaa, everybody. Happy everybody. Hi, this is Marcella Smithers. Coming here to Eastside High School to support this celebration, bring perspective to our students, and teach them some principles that can really help elevate them and teach them about their history and how great they are. Peace, Did you
on, and as we talk about faith, our long tradition is one of faith and dedication and prayer to whomever the God that you serve or worship, we understand that we have that spiritual benefit. So just before we partake of that which has been provided for us, been given to us, I'd like to, in my tradition, offer a word of prayer blessing uh, for this food that has been presented, that it might be good for us. Heavenly Father, gracious God, we thank you for today. We thank you for our faith in our community, that we can stand united as one people, recognizing that we come not from ourselves, but from you. We thank you for the gifts that you have given us today, of each person gathered here, each individual, that bind us together to make us a mighty army and a great nation. Cause us not only to be hearers of your word, but that we will be doers also. And as we are prepared to eat this food now, we ask that your blessings be upon it, that you will strengthen us and cause us to do your will and your purpose. Thank you for the hands that prepare it, and those that provide the food that we will be eating now, as we give you thanks, in Christ's name, amen. To come forward and give us um, a number of things that will be going on during dinner. I think the Kimara movie and tomorrow night we will probably hand out some gifts. I want to make one quick announcement and we're going to allow Jimmy Richardson to come forward and make an announcement during this time also. But um, Ernie cannot come to mention it, but I want you to remember that at the end of Black History Month, there's always Um, today is a beautiful day, um, celebrating Kwanzaa, and I'm so delighted to see the children. They're working and they're interacting, and that is a wonderful thing to do. We're ha having them organized for the next um, century. So continue to do a good job, and let us work together. God bless. It was Harriet Tubman who said, I freed a thousand slaves. I would have freed a thousand more had they known they were slaves. I always ask myself about that, young folks and old. Why did the others didn't know that they were slaves? Because, see, some lived up on the hill and some live down by the projects. Some wore a suit and tie, while others wore jeans. Some was light skin, while others was dark skin. Some had money, while others had no money at all. So it seems like we've always had a problem with uniting and uniting our people. It really is not a problem to us who is in office in this election right now. That's not our big problem. Our big problem is that we would have enough faith and courage to try the one thing that we have not tried as of yet, and that is sincere unity. Sincere unity. Sincere unity. The Honorable Mr. Louis Farrakhan, who is my leader, teacher, and guide, was in Newark not too long ago. And he shared with us many different topics. But one of the things he said that we are the origins of civilization. He said that we are the origin of science. We are the origin of mathematics. In fact of the matter, that we are the origin of all of humanity. So you wouldn't have a brown person. You wouldn't have a red person. You wouldn't have a yellow man. You wouldn't even have a white man 
and it's not D for the black man and the black woman here in the wilderness of North America. I'm not asking you to agree with everything we say, but I am asking you to do some research for yourself. J.A. Rogers may help me in my last statement. He said a lot of things like, you can't get all those different colors out of those other colors, but you can get them all out of black. Am I right? Okay. Real quick. If we are the mothers of all civilization, then we are the fathers and mothers of all the humanity. So if we are the mothers and fathers of all humanity, why are we in the condition that we're in? We're in the condition that we're in for two reasons. That our self-esteem has been diminished. It's like this. If Mr. Moody, had, when he had his young children, he had a beautiful house. But him and his wife decide that they want to go out one night and they leave the children home alone. When he and his wife, after having a beautiful time, come back to the house, what condition is the house in? Moody's children, they got the toilet paper running through the living room. They got the, the pillows from the bedroom all up in the bathroom. So what does Mr. and Ms. Moody have to do now? They have to stop, put their foot down, and get their house back in order. That's what I'm saying to the black man and black woman here in this city of Patterson and all over the world now, that we have no business being second-class citizens to a people that's in office right now. Again, we, it don't matter who's in office. We are the mothers and fathers of all civilization. We are the Asiatic black man and woman. See, we are the majority in the entire world. I know it don't seem like it, but we are. Linda Gallenshaw from the City Post News winding up the last day of Kwanzaa, seven-day celebration, talking about unity and unity and unity. Most of all, unity. Unity among many communities. It has been a tremendous evening, and I encourage all of you Patersonians to get out and support these community events. From the City Post, we love you out there.